Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Welcome back to Medicine Creek Farms. We're here on a cloudy early autumn day, afternoon, and I bought myself a combine. And the beans are ready, so we need to get this uh, thing back over to the farm. Unfortunately, well, I guess it depends on how you look at it. The good news is, I got a heck of a deal on this whole thing. Bad news is, it's not exactly uh, running great. So I've got Hank over here with me, little buddy Hank, and he's, he ran over to uh, Laredo to get some things. We we'll get some plugs. Uh, we got at least one belt that's bad, so we got some belts coming. Uh, all the usual fluids, and we're gonna give this thing a once over and see if we can get it home and get it to work. Uh, the head seems to be in pretty good shape. I didn't see any problems there. So as long as we can get it running, uh, we're gonna head for home. So I think I hear Hank coming now. Yeah, there he is. He just had to run over to Laredo, get some parts. So uh, we're going to wrench on this thing for a bit, and then we'll see if we can get her home. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty, folks, welcome back. We got the old girl running. Seems to be doing all right. So we're going to head for home. Hank's got the header trailer back there. He's going to follow. It's starting to get dark, but we still got some daylight left. And boy, I gotta, I gotta get used to the turn radius on this thing. It is a beast. Little TX thirty four. It's kind of big. It's really long for, uh, for its size and horsepower rating. I don't see anybody else coming down this road. Oh, went a little wide again. All right, so far so good. Can I do it here? Yeah, his lights, unfortunately. Glare right off the windshield. <laughs> it's uh, It's been kept nice inside. She's been taken care of. This road's fairly well overgrown. So we got a bit of a drive, not, not too bad. We're just over here west of uh, Field 43, if I pull up the map. Just over here, I'm sorry, southwest Field 43. So we're gonna head over to the highway and then uh, get on home. That's the plan, anyway. Just want to keep an eye on some of these trees. I don't want to drag too many limbs through this. Lose a muffler or something. So, yeah, once we got everything cleaned out, it's been sitting there for sale for a while, so I had the usual, you know, bird's nests and mice droppings and all that stuff. We got the plugs changed out, the belts changed over. New fluids. And uh, then it fired up. Went and drained the fuel tank, got new fresh fuel in there. So we're all good, I think. Time will tell. I don't know, I'm going to get wild, bump this thing all the way up to, to top speed here, maybe. Well, no, let's, let's back her about down. Let's do about 15. <laughs> it's getting, uh, getting a little bouncy. Old Hank is hanging right on my butt. put his hazards on? Oh, he did. Good. All right. So we've got a bridge coming up, and we just got a little bit of a long drive here, so I'm going to chug on down the road, and I'll check on, uh, check on? We'll check in with you in just a bit once we get back over to the home farm. Well, we almost made it home. <laughs> Didn't quite make it over to the highway, but you know what? Uh, it wouldn't be farming if you weren't wrenching on something in the middle of the night at the side of the road, right? Uh, I think we've got a plugged fuel line. It just kind of up and died on me. So I got over off the side of the road. And we're going to be wrenching by headlights. This is the way it goes. But I think we'll eventually get it home. Maybe. I'll climb up and see what we got to deal with. Yep, sure enough, that was it. Some gunk in the fuel filter. Got that all cleaned out. 
Here we are back in business. Wind our way back home. I think that's the, yeah, that should be the highway. What we got here? Got some traffic. Oh, easy there, Hank. Calm down. All right, nobody coming that way. All right, I'll drive off in the ditch. Say what? Until somebody's coming, I'm going to drive up on the the main road here. And he's got his hazards on too, so should be fairly safe. And I have too awful far to go. If you're not familiar with where we're at, we'll just pull that up. We just got pretty much a straight shot on home there. About halfway up from where we go to the store. Down at Chula. But uh, other than that clogged fuel filter, she's been running just fine. So hopefully we're in good shape. Beans are ready. We'll see what the moisture's looking like tomorrow morning. It's a little, been a little bit hazy this evening. A little cloudy tonight. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to rain, but hopefully tomorrow we'll be getting some beans in the tank. That's the plan, anyway. Some uh, strange lights going on. Well, Hank turned his lights off. Why'd you turn the Why'd you turn your lights off, Hank? There you go. He's probably wanting to get on home since it's almost midnight. Hank's been a good neighbor, though. I need to return the favor at some point. There's home. I see the light. A little bit of traffic behind us. That's all right. They can wait. I gotta remember, this has got a pretty wide turn radius on it. There we go. Come on, girl. Make it up the hill. Wow. Must be some ice on that gravel there at 67 degrees. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I don't know. What are you going to do? It's farming simulator. So here we are at home, finally. A little bit of a shorter episode this time. going to kind of keep him around 15, 20 minutes, but I know last episode was a little bit longer, so... Go a little bit shorter this time, but next episode we'll be getting into the bean field. Let's pull up here. Actually, while we're while we're looking here, you can see off to the right, I've got uh, some alfalfa planted. I plowed up and seeded just a little part here, kind of do kind of a trial run for some alfalfa, and that's starting to sprout. So I probably have some alfalfa to cut in the fall. Let me get all these lights turned off. There we go. Hazards off and shut down. All right, we made it. Well, I'm going to talk to Hank and uh, send him on home, thank him, and probably need to buy him a couple beers or something. It's going to be it for this episode, a little bit shorter one, like I said. I will catch you in the next one when we get some beans in the tank. Thanks for watching. Take care. You ready to go home, Hank? Yeah, I bet you are.